this young lady's name is Murphy. Murphy is what we call around these parts as a Texas healer, meaning that she's a cross between an Australian shepherd and a healer, red or blue. Uh, she's been sent to me for a two week boarding train because she's starting to show signs of aggression. So I've been told what sounds more than uh, being just aggression, I honestly think that it's more prey drive because of the breed of dog that she is. When I went to first pick her up, there's no way I could have done this. Now I've got her away from the home and her parents. She's showing no uh, aggression towards me at all. Again, this is Murphy. I'll show you what she does know. Murphy, sit. Sit. Good, sit. So Murphy does understand the command of sit. We'll see if she knows how to walk on a leash. Okay, Murphy's not the best on the leash. Doesn't really know how to heal too much. Let's see if she has a recall. <laughs> Murphy, come. Yay, good girl. Murphy, sit. 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 Good sit. Good sit. Let's see if she knows the down. Murphy, down. 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 And Murphy doesn't appear as though she knows the down. She might know it, but because this is her first interaction with one another, she probably doesn't feel comfortable doing it right now. Again, this is Murphy, a two-year-old Texas healer, and Scotty Green with off-leash canine.
I'm Mary Cody. This is my husband, Donald Cody, and this is Miss Murphy. Uh, we had been without a pet for a couple of years and uh, felt pretty empty. So we went to the Border Collie, East Tennessee Border Collie Rescue, and that's where we met this sweet little wonderful um, aggressive, uh, <laughs> I'll kill you if you look at me twice dog. Well, we brought her home and we immediately started spoiling her to death like a child and we paid for it. Um, Murphy had to go to, I'd like to say Miss Manor School, but actually she went to boot camp for two weeks. <laughs> and she has come back a much calmer, more well-behaved, uh, loving fur baby. But... I can trust her now. I couldn't trust her before. I was afraid that she would eat <laughs> maybe even my brother-in-law. But um, now I'm very confident that with the training that she's had that she's going to be able to be around people and enjoy life more and we'll have a much more enjoyable life with her. And we give all of the thanks to Scotty. <laughs> he is the best communicator I think I've ever met. Um, he really knows these animals. He loves them. He, uh, you get the feeling that your pet's going to learn something and you're going to learn a whole lot too. And that's exactly what happened here. So if you have a fur baby that you, you can't control, please give Scotty a call. <laughs> you won't regret it.